Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to do some yellow chemistry. So. Jesus. Okay, so this um, yellow chemistry adventure all started a while back. I had just purchased a whole lot of potassium nitrate and I wanted to have some fun with it. So I searched the web for some cool pyrotechnic mixtures and I came across something called yellow powder which apparently was a mixture containing potassium nitrate that could actually detonate, like full on explosion. So I was immediately interested, but when I looked at the composition, I was very skeptical, because the so-called yellow powder consisted of potassium nitrate, okay that makes sense, potassium carbonate, that doesn't really make sense, that you know, most prevents burning, and sulfur. So that doesn't really seem like something that could detonate, right? Well, it's yellow chemistry, so of course it is. Of course it explodes. So to make a batch of yellow powder, I mixed up 55 parts of potassium nitrate, 27 parts of potassium carbonate and 18 parts of silver. After I've mixed all the ingredients, I put them in a mortar and pestle and um, grind them for about 5 minutes until it's a nice, fine, unfortunately slightly yellow powder. So we take a small bit of the yellow powder and light it up and see if it explodes. Wait. It doesn't, it just burns. Oh, right, I forgot I was dealing with yellow chemistry. Because we're dealing with yellow chemistry here, we can't just light it normally. You need to slowly heat it until it melts and after it turns black and starts to boil, then it detonates. Okay, so we put a little bit of the yellow powder onto a metal plate and heat it from underneath with the Bunsen burner. The slower you heat it, the better. So you can see it slowly turning more and more black. Now it's about to detonate and... So. Here's some more explosions. But how does this really work? What's actually happening? Why does it explode? Well, I don't know. Nobody really knows exactly what's going on. It's quite fascinating. As far as I know, what exactly is going on is a mystery. But we can speculate. So after some research, this is the best explanation I found. So the potassium carbonate reacts with the sulfur to form polysulfides and thiosulfides. The polysulfides react with the potassium nitrate to form more thiosulfate and potassium nitrite. Potassium nitrite is a far stronger oxidizer than potassium nitrate. And thiosulfide is quite a strong reducing agent. So you are forming really strong reducers and really strong oxidizers at the same time. But for some reason they only react at a certain temperature. So they can build up and build up and build up. And then suddenly, the nitrite oxidizes the thiosulfate to sulfate and releases a bunch of energy in the process, creating a huge explosion. But that's only a theory, so it might be totally wrong. I don't know. I would love to hear your theories in the comments. But I still have a bunch of questions. Can you use other bases instead of potassium carbonate? Like sodium hydroxide, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, etc. Or what happens if you stop right before it explodes and scrape the stuff off the plate and ignite that? Will it explode? What if you melt the sulfur and potassium carbonate before adding the potassium nitrate? And then after melting, adding the nitrate, will this mix be explosive? What if you mix the potassium nitrite and sodium thiosulfate or polysulfides? Will that create an explosive mix? These are all questions I would really like to get an answer to. There's really only one way to find out in my mind, and that's just to try it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first I wanted to know if you stop right before the yellow powder explodes, so you heat it from 
underneath and it starts to bubble and go black and then just stop if you scrape the powder off after you've done that if that powder is explosive or has any energetic properties so I put a little bit of my yellow powder on the plate and turn on the fire beneath it and very nervously wait until it turns black and starts to boil a little and give off a little bit of smoke and then quickly turn off the fire before it explodes in my face okay so now with this it should be uh, very flammable nice. but before I scrape off the powder and test if it has any explosive properties I wanted to do a little sensitivity test so I don't blow off my face you know So as you can see it isn't really that sensitive, I mean it probably isn't sensitive at all. So I'm safe just scraping it off carelessly off of the plate. Um, so yeah let's do that and test if it uh, is flammable at all or explosive or whatever. So let's get a little bit of the obtained powder and burn it to see if it, you know, burns. <laughs> so as you can see it burns quite fast I tried to check if it also was capable of exploding just like black powder can so I made a little firecracker and uh, tested it and this was the result. <laughs> so it really isn't that explosive. So the next thing I will be trying is um, to melt the potassium carbonate and the sulfur first and then adding the potassium nitrate to see if this will you know make a sort of a black powder ish mixture or maybe even explosive mixture so i mix the potassium carbonate and the sulfur in the right ratios and put it on uh, the plate with the fire beneath it put the fire on wait until it goes black and starts to bubble then let it cool down and scrape it off the plate on its own the product does burn but it's just the sulfur reacting with oxygen in the air to make silver dioxide so nothing special so after doing this small scale test, I can now do the rest of my yellow powder. A cool thing I noticed when I was doing uh, this process is that um, the powder starts out, you know, white, yellowish, then, you know, solid black. And when it cools down, it turns red, a, a deep red, and then to a orange and then to a slightly, you know, like orangey yellow, which is kind of cool. After admiring the color chains, I scraped it off the plate and powderized it in a modern pestle. Then I made some fine potassium nitrate powder and added that to my yellow powder. The resulting mix uh, isn't that powerful, it, it really isn't an explosive if you don't like heat it on the plate. It just burns like a medium good black powder. Um, it is sort of sensitive, you can hit it with a hammer and you can see a little flame, but it doesn't detonate, so yeah, I think I really need to add like something like potassium nitride to it or, you know, that kind of stuff, but I can't get that, so unfortunately. There's a lot more experiments with this stuff I would like to do, but unfortunately it takes a lot of fucking time to record all that stuff. So I'm just going to experiment on my own until I, you know, find something interesting. And then I'll make a part two if I actually find something interesting. 
So um, yeah, I see you in the hopefully in part two or some other interesting video. Um, yeah, hope you have a good day. Subscribe and like if you you know enjoy this video. Yeah, goodbye.